Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. This week, um, I had a completely different game decided and ready to go. However, I started hearing about this game, Tainted the what's that? Tainted Grail, The Fall of Avalon. Now, what drew me to this one is there's a free demo, which is always a good sign, and it's being touted as a spiritual successor in a way to Skyrim which instantly got my interest peaked because as a lot of you guys know Bethesda RPGs are well my favorite RPGs I mean yes we had Starfield which I had a lot of fun with but <sighs> let's just say it wasn't their best work so this is being made by a small indie developer, as far as I'm aware. Let's have a little go. I have not played this at all. It is built in Unity, which I find interesting. And um, one of the things that I'm curious about this game is Bethesda always um, mentions that their games are only really possible because of the tools that they have and because of their engine. Now this, is unity let's have a little look shall we and see how close this actually gets to that um, Elder Scrolls feel okay that'd be fine welcome to patch 0.6 judgment of the Excalibur our team has been working hard for the past six months to improve pretty much every single aspect of the game Oof, that sounds a familiar tale Unfortunately, changing and optimizing many of the systems has resulted in save wipes. That's bad. In line with our early access warnings on the Steam page. Well, if they're warning people, that's fair. We hope you'll enjoy the new patch and the tons of improvements and extra content. Westline. Okay. Ah. Uh. Westline, I guess that's the company. Based on your hardware configuration, graphics settings were changed to Ultra. Excellent. And we're getting a nice clean 120 FPS up there as well. So uh, let's just have a little look at some of these. I think it's important to check out the kind of settings that we get. Font size, medium, HUD scale, good. Screen shake, all right. Screen, well, we'll have to see what that's like in the actual game. Audio. I'm enjoying the music. This is a pretty intense title screen track. I like it. Full screen, borderless, V-Sync, yeah. Okay. Oh, there actually is a field of view slider. Interesting. You would think that that's standard now, but sadly that's not the case. Let's try 100, see how that goes. So borderless is fine. Uh, so we have FSR. We don't need FSR, I'm going to guess. Not at 1080p with a 4080. Uh, Anti-aliasing, sure. Um, texture quality. Got a nice juicy healthy 16 gigs of VRAM so that should be fine until next year when the industry decides that a two grand graphics card is out of date okay cool let's go let's see what we have I only found out about this recently I like the artwork It's like Arthur and Merlin. Long after the death of the king, Camelot is in shambles as Avalon fractures into chaos. Old legends are gone, and the weirdness is creeping back into our land. The weirdness, I like that. The beating heart of the plague has started beating once more, and the Red Death has returned. Rulers of the island asylum. An order of the Red Priest. 
beasts are desperate to stop it by any means necessary. Rodin in one of their cells is a stranger who might bring a spark of change to this cursed island stuck in everlasting autumn. All right, well, that's pretty interesting. So I had no idea that this was going to be grounded in some kind of reality. I like it. So do we get, like, magic then? I, I on purpose, um, kept it. So that I was going to go into this pretty much blind. And that's about right. Body condition. Oh, we can be like absolutely ripped. I mean, we're going to be a warrior sort, so sure. So it looks like it's all just preset faces and things at the moment. Unless at the end we can play around with things. Visually, the game looks, at least the character models, look fine. Nothing mind-blowing, but, you know, let's go with defaults. It's always weird when, like, they never get the hair colors right, I always find, these games. Like, that's supposed to be kind of like an auburn color, but it's actually extremely dark red. Yeah, and you'd expect that to be quite nice and vibrant, but it's just, yeah, the hair colors are just too dark. It's kind of like a, one of those um, temporary hairsprays, color hairsprays, like over black hair. Yeah, that, okay. <laughs> that's, that's, that's fine, I'm sure. So, only a handful of hairstyles. Ooh. Yes. Uh, Sort of what I've got going on, I guess, but really, we'll go with it though. All right, fine. Beards. Oh, we can have some excellent beards. Yeah. If only that was a little bit, a little bit shorter. That's too short. All right, let's go with the homeless beard style. So, name. Difficulty, normal. Yeah, we'll go for normal. So, it sounds like a very Elder Scrolls start. We're starting off in prison. Are you sure to play as this character? You will not be able to change it. Sure. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Yes, it's me again. And I hope this time you'll cooperate without me needing to repeatedly hit you in the face. <laughs> All right. Look, we just have to get this over and done with. Unless you want a visit from someone upstairs. And trust me, you don't. Who's just upstairs? Like before, no food until we're done here. And the moment you start getting on my nerves, we're going back to my tried and tested fists. Mm hmm. So, tell me, what were you doing in the forest when the Red Shields caught you? Uh, I was on my way to enlist in the army. Oh, okay. So this, yeah, this is very Elder Scrolls. So that will give us one-handed plus three, two-handed plus three, blocking plus three, heavy armor. I do like my heavy armor. So that will give us archery, medium armor, evasion, and sneak. All right, so that's obviously the uh, sneaky sneak thief build. Oh, so there is magic in the game. Plus six. And alchemy as well. I guess if we stay silent, we can build our own character. But for the interest of moving this demo along, go, let's say we are going to enlist in the army. If I were in charge, I wouldn't even consider letting you join the ranks. I'd rather feed you to the dogs. Less <laughs> waste. And you were planning to enlist with... Thanks, mate. Infantry. Oh, battle mages. I do like playing as a battle mage. Burning ember. I guess that's the spell that we start with. Healers. Healers are also, yeah, healing magic is quite nice. Good old school of restoration. Um, 
We'll go with infantry. Although, if we go for a battle mage, we still get our heavy armor. And we get our one handed plus. So that just gives us extra blocking. So we're going to trade blocking for magic. Do that. Let's go for a oh, battle mage. That's what you call yourselves now. Uh huh. I've never seen you people do anything but fireworks and illusions. <laughs> Not much use during a real fight, as is mm -hmm. evident from you being in here rather than out there. Okay, that was easier than I expected. Now, unfortunately, we'll have to stop. Ooh, ooh, there's some stutter there. I always found it puzzling that these people won't bathe. <laughs> you, I understand. You're literally rotting in this damned cell, but then there's just no excuse for the stench. <laughs> I agree. Now, who are you? There they are, finally. I know, I know you have a million questions forming in your head, but they'll have to wait. One of these keys will open your cell. When you get out, head left. I'll scout ahead. All right, whoever you are. So, we've got the key to our cell. New quest, The Great Escape. We're getting a lot of um, stutter here. That's not good. So, we can take the pail. Interesting. I to open equipment. Sounds reasonable. Right, loadout one. Prepare up to four weapon loadouts and switch between them during gameplay. This is something that really actually does bug me with Bethesda games. Uh, there is kind of like a quick... Um, quick select system you know you've got your d-pad or your weapon wheel in starfield for instance however you're chopping and changing through weapons so quickly by picking them up selling them um, that your the weapons that you've actually committed to <clears throat> the quick change wheel or quick map buttons always get lost so you have to keep going into your inventory and changing things out. So to actually have a hard um, loadout queue here. Yeah, I like that. That's something that Bethesda really needs to kind of sort out. In, in fact, the Bethesda inventory system has been garbage since... <sighs> Probably Morrowind. No, Morrowind was Morrowind was fine because it was a PC game. You controlled everything with a mouse. It was okay. It's been garbage since Oblivion. Let's say that. So, our bag. So we have magic. We have quest items. Nice. And all. Okay. Not exactly a uh, much going on there. Quests, quest log looks fine, I guess. And then character, oh, right. So we have strength, endurance, dexterity, spirit spirituality, practicality, and perception. I'm okay, so every hit has plus 5% chance of being critical. Right, well, we'll look at this when we actually get a level up. But this... This looks tidy. I like that. This looks fine. So we've got 50 health, 50 MP, and 50 SP, which I'm assuming is stamina, but I don't know. All right. So if we grab a pail, for instance. Now, one of the things I love about a Bethesda game is the environmental storytelling and just how interactive the environments are. Like, if I pick up a bucket, I can put it anywhere in the world, and it will always be there. I can always come back to it. I can organize my houses, my safe... Um, what do you call them? Like, save rooms and all that kind of stuff, how I want them. I can put trophies everywhere. It's that kind of interactivity that makes a Bethesda game. So, if we can get something a little bit like that... If I ah, uh, so if I can just drop that, I mean it does just go into the world, which is fine. Just not hundred percent sure how persistent the world is. Now we probably don't want these. Oh, <laughs> apparently it's garbage. I mean, 
Yeah, that makes sense. These pails are not the same. That one weighs more and is worth one coin less. At least I assume that's what it is. Alright, cool. I don't know how we use that. Do we have like a magic slot? Auto fill items. Suitable items will fill these slots automatically when the most. Okay. Fine. That's fine. So we've got a book here. The Seven Commandments. One. First came the prophet, then came the word. Word is sacred. Two. The pope, his cardinals, and his priests receive the word. Word is the way. Three. We are all brothers and sisters, starving for the word. The word is sustenance. Four. Together, in holy suffering, we walk the pilgrim's path. The word is our strength. Five. We repent by facing the trial of the plague. The world is our cure. Six. The priests clad in red guide us towards grace. The word is salvation. And seven. There are no sanctities, only the prophet's word and the will of the red church. Do not doubt your faith and you will be rewarded. So the red church are the ones that seem to be trying to hold back the curse of what's going on. Beggar's fair. I don't know what that is. We've got some mead, a broken arrow, a club. Uh-huh. Oh, and it's like Morrowind as well, and all the old Elder Scrolls games. You can strip people down to their unmentionables, which we like. Oh, so we can just equip this stuff like that. So it's five armor, and that's all it does, five armor. You know, I don't mind that, because one thing, I, that's zero armor, put the bandages on. One thing that does get slightly overwhelming with some games is when you're just looking at every item that you pick up and it's just pages and pages and pages of stats it just gets too laborious okay actually did we get a weapon oh i see maybe we want that the other way around so sprint so light attack heavy attack Oh, oh, that's that's weird. So the left mouse button controls the right hand, and the right mouse button controls the left hand. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. So anyway, our friend is up there scouting ahead. So let's go looting. Fish soup. Well. <laughs> Medieval porn, isn't it great? Okay, cooking for the president, part one. Simple recipes from simple ingredients. Okay, not everyone was born with perfect taste buds or culinary sensitivity. If you belong to the group of such individuals, don't worry, here I am, Auntie Mildred. Coming up with a initiative for those with an exceptionally dull taste in food. As I often repeat, some things were made to be eaten at fancy restaurants and others to scrape off the floor. <laughs> okay, I, you know, I'm enjoying the writing. We've only read two books, but I'm enjoying the writing. Nevertheless, this is certainly no reason to be ashamed. For a moderate hungry, oh, for a moderate hunger, try serving yourself what is commonly known as beggar's fare. We've picked one of these up. Certainly very popular among people, well, people like you. All you need is groats, oats, and a pot of boiling water. Once again, let me emphasize in case you're not sure what I mean. The boiling water bubbles. Right. Doesn't sound that great. An equally simple alternative could be mashed potatoes. Hey, hey, don't sleep on mashed potatoes. All right. Mashed potatoes, if pr prepared correctly, can be a wonderful comfort food. Throw in some cheese, some butter, maybe some onions, some chives, whatever the hell you want, man. And it can be an amazing meal. Oh, even dress. Oh, beef gravy. Anyway, 
If you feel particularly comfortable with a knife, you can try peeling the potatoes. Yeah, that's definitely optional. I mean, sometimes it's nice to leave the skin on for those extra nutrients and that extra earthy taste. Anyway, uh, <laughs> trying to remove the thinnest possible layer of skin with delicate moves. However, this is not necessary. Throw the potatoes into boiling water as above and wait about 20 minutes. Pour off the water, please don't drink it, and then add some milk. Don't overdo it with this one. You don't want your mashed potatoes to turn into a starchy, milky mush, do you? No, you do not. Unless that's the way you like them. Oh, that gives us recipes. You know what, guys? Oh, I see. So you can either just dump a load of random ingredients into the pot. All right. It's early days. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, it's very early days, but this is very promising. Roast? <laughs> We're not going to read all the books, otherwise we'll be here forever, but... Ooh, dude. Straight through the eye. Ale. Now, let's see how this works. Okay. This works exactly like Skyrim. Right, we'll have all that. Coins. And a men here figure. Don't know what that does, but we'll have it. Take the wooden clubs and the mead. Yeah, I'm already really, really enjoying this. All they would have to add for me. I suppose we'll take a jar, might be able to use it. All they'd have to uh, add for me is the ability to organise things around in the environment. And, I mean, you have the basis of an Elder Scrolls game. And it's set grounded in reality as well, which is curious. I mean, obviously, not super reality, but more reality than, say, Elder Scrolls, which is set in the very fictional universe. Ramblings of a weary mind. A weary mind. The dark nights here are endless. Everything breathes and falls crispy. A red monk came and put a fire in my chest, but I knew it was a good thing. The first and only king visited me the night before. Arthur wept and then reached to me with his hands. Not two, but four. Never closer to the king's grace, then he disappeared. The bleeding heart of the plague beats in frantic despair. One, two, one, two. I hear its rhythm from behind the wall. I know it. I feel it. One, two, one, two. Organic machinery that created this place. And these people. Put your ears to the walls and listen. One, two, listen. Oof. All right. There's a lot to read there. Oh, we can harvest... Oh, this is everything I want in an RPG. Okay. Let's get out of here anyway. Sorry. Oh, you're not my friend. I guess we don't need to take every pair of pants going, but... Shame we can't, like, knock him over. This looks like a storage area. Got wine. Cabbage, my favourite, said nobody ever. We've got a nice amount of ingredients. Can we take the light? I guess not. That's unfortunate. Venison, beef, pork. Everything a growing boy needs. Honey, sage, oh my god. I can already tell, tell you guys, I'm almost completely sold on this game shit. And our skill does seem to be going up like an Elder Scrolls game. Son of a bitch. Let's just hope the loot that we find in containers is actually worth it. Ten more picks. Alright. We'll have the potatoes and the sage. Because why not? 
Ooh. What is that? Is that a zombie? Oh, it's an undead. It is. Well, you know what undead like. Cleansing flame. Ah. So the combat is very similar. Blood clot. Not sure that's great. So the combat is very much like an Elder Scrolls game, but there is more weight to it. Autopsy reports. Fish oil. Ugh. Can't think of anything more nasty than that. Amputation knife. Can we use that as a weapon, I wonder? Subject 17. I drilled a burr, uh, burr hole into the left temporal lobe. The skull appears to be full of thick, partially coagulated blood. I opened the skull by removing the uh, calvaria and then drained out the unnatural excess fluid. I sawed through the cerebral fulx, 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 using a Morgan's cut. I severed the nerves and the brainstem. I lifted out the brain. Its shape is abnormal, swollen, as if it burst from the inside. I made incisions in the venous sinuses and separated the... Poop, uh, you know, my dyslexia does not like these words. <laughs> from the bone. The base of the skull is intact. I placed the brain in a mixture of alcohol and cedar oils for further examination. All right. Good stuff. Looks like your subject decided to get up and have a wander around, though. So it looks like our mana is not recharging, which is kind of unfortunate. So I guess that's going to be something that's handled with potions. Brains. All right, we'll take these brains. I wonder if there's anything we can do. And a heart. Experimental treatment. We, we can't read everything. Video will be three hours long. Right, let's go find where our friend's gone. Curious to see if we can get outside. To Brother uh, Sefton. Venerable Brother Sefton, I would like to remind you of what I have mentioned numerous times before. Namely, that our chemical station should be cleaned after each use, especially when you're so careless with caustic and toxic substances. I also recommend that you refresh your elementary knowledge about the ingredients of a healing uh, concoction. Those are alcohol and sage, not poisonous plants and hearts. <laughs> if this kind of ne uh, negligence continues, I will be forced to ask Father Volgan we revoke your privilege to use the laboratory. May the word of the prophet be your grace. Brother Aaron. Okay. Somebody does not know his stuff. Laboratory key. Oh. What is down this? Oh. What is down this way? Yes, a load of weird cages and stuff. Let's go check out the alchemy lab. There's an arrow stuck in that guy's head as well, but we're not an archer, so it doesn't matter. Oh. Red Priest. The enemy is near. Yeah, well, I'm not altogether convinced that I'm an enemy. I mean, I would hope I'm not an enemy. A dagger. That's better. Spectre. Spectral sword. Oh, that's uh, summoning device. So these guys are the enemy, really. Grants haste, and it tells you exactly what a potion does as well, in kind of like a concise, easy to digest manner. It's not just loads of nonsense that you have to decipher or be... Ah, oh, there's the alchemy station. So we can create small health potions out of mead and sage. Although mana potions require mushrooms. Craft many or craft. Okay. <laughs> what does many mean? Is many like five or ten? Alright. 
I like that. Hot goo. Yeah, we'll have some hot goo. I think we're pretty low on our hot goo. Uh, hot glue, surprise. Hot goo. Yeah. Mushroom. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I'm not sure whether this is the right way to go. There's a nice amount of mushrooms here. I also like the way um, harvesting item, uh, like ingredients, physically removes them from the world. That's always nice. I know that started in Skyrim as well. Actually, it, ooh, that started in Oblivion to some degree. Oh, we're actually getting our sneak skill up. So sneak skills work exactly. Like you would imagine. So that's very like one handed wooden club. Ooh. I would like to try that. Um, cabbages hill health. That's fine. But it's not quite what I'm looking for here. Do we have any potions? I'm sure we did. Rejuvenation. Lock stamina at 100% for 15 seconds. Do we not have... Ah. There we go. But how do we use that? How do we use a potion? Uh, controls. Oh, so it uses the number pad. What does that mean, number one? I'm not sure. Interact equipment, map, skill tree, quest log. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, use quick wheel. Q. Okay. All right, that works. Okay. Well, for some reason... I don't know what... Oh, shit. This is going to get worse before it gets better. For some reason. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, it was not letting me use my... Weapon at all. Oh, this is bad. Hey, call me a heretic. I don't know who I am. Or what I've done. You're the ones that locked me up. Oh, shit. We're out of stamina. Alright, let's try and deal with these bastards as quick as we can. Right, how much is 10 health? Apparently, not much. Okay, that's fine. There's considerably... Oh, sh... Less of them than there was. Well... They weren't as tough as I thought. Cut them down. I do like the look. Ooh. I do like the look of our magical sword here. It looks really cool. I'm guessing brains aren't much good to us right now. Hmm, peppermint. I don't know about monster blood. Blood, hearts, and guts. The alchemy of viscera. Scarlet. Last breath. Dead heat causes rage. Interesting. Okay, we've got a cooking pot here. What can we craft? Use random ingredients. Generates the best. Um, generates the best combination for random ingredients. Best. Okay. So that just created food plus three. Okay. I mean, we're just going to craft a shit ton of food then. Oh, I see. So that's experimental. Right. I got you. And our cooking is actually a, its own separate spell, which I like. Food. 
That's more like it. That's what we want. Right, so now we've murdered... Ah. Uh -huh. Can we... So I don't know how long this spell sword lasts. It seems to be somewhat decent amount of time. Fish oil. Fish eyes. I mean, it looks like a whole fish head, actually. But whatever. I mean, nothing good has been going on here. I think that's fair to uh, ascertain. Um, I'm guessing there's nothing we can do with that door. Oh, this is downstairs. Oh, okay. Let's get an actual weapon out, shall we? Use the dagger. Can we smash this? Doesn't look like it. All right. So, I don't know if we've missed anything there, but let's head back to where we came from. And hopefully... Oh, why is our sneak going up? That's curious. See, in um, your average Elder Scrolls game, your skills only increased, for instance, with sneak, if there was someone close that you were hiding from. So I wonder if sneak just increases... So can't pick up those. Oh. No, that's that. Yeah, I'm guessing, um... Spirit. Oh, nice. Blood clot. Yeah, don't... Don't have much need for a blood clot right now. Careful what you ask for. Yeah, so if you just endlessly crouch walked into a corner... If you had somebody in the other room in an Elder Scrolls game... That would be a really good way of getting your sneak up pretty quick. Although my fear is they're going to be changing how leveling up works in the next Elder Scrolls. Because how, you know, Bethesda are hell-bent on making leveling up worse in every single game they make. Ah. Another way into there. Yeah, I don't mind, like, a perk system, but I can't, like, especially with, like, Fallout 4. You know, I liked Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3. I liked getting X amount of points that I can put into the stats that I choose. Evening. Oh, that's our friend. And I also like... Take some arrows, I guess. I also like... Leveling up my skills by using them as well. You took your sweet time, eh? I did. But I understand. I did too when I was leaving this place for the first time. Oh. You have to admit, the Red Priests are quite resourceful when it comes to death and dying. I. Uh, who are you? Great question, truly. But in case you haven't noticed, we're still within the walls of the Island Asylum. When we're out, then we'll talk. Fair. I'm told this path leads to the beach. I don't know how, but if it's true, then I'll wait there for you until dusk. Good luck. So you're going to wait. The knight said we'll meet again when I find a way out of the asylum. Okay, so we need to find him at the beach. But he's only gonna, is, does that mean he's only going to wait until dusk? Curious. Brick hammer. Pretty sure what a brick hammer does, apart from hammer bricks. Whether it has another use. Ooh. Exactly where we are. Oh. The hell is that? I mean, we're wielding a dagger here, and it seems to be tainted red priest. It's a significant dagger. Really need to be careful with our stamina here. So we can kind of charge up for a decent attack. 
Sorry, friend, but I reckon that was the best thing that could have happened to you today. All right. There's so much I want to read. Ooh. Oh. Curious. We need something to hold that down, I guess. Or we need something to put in it, maybe? I guess we're going to find out. Ooh. Well, I guess we're not going that way. Right, well that just leads us round in circles, which isn't the most helpful thing in the world. Don't think there's much here. Uh, that's the way we came down, which by looks of things, we cannot return that way, so we have to go this way somehow. Okay. But we can go this way. I'm hoping we can get some kind of way of also regenerating our mana. Because that could be a problem otherwise, being a spell sword, you understand. Hiking these tunnels. Seems fun to ooh fun to explore. Do we have we do? Evening there, sweet cheeks. Let's see if we can't put you under a spell. Alright, so we can charge that up, but it doesn't seem to do that much. And unfortunately, I don't think the mana cost is actually worth using that weapon. Ooh, you son of a bitch. Literally getting one coin for all of this. Ooh, touch. Wait, what? A fuck? Alright. Well, somebody sounds grouchy. Somebody sounds very grumpy. I can understand. I didn't want to wake up this morning either. Weird children with glowing eyes. Standard. Massive demons fighting each other. Nice. We like. Well, this certainly doesn't look like an oblivion gate. Ooh. So we can't actually use. A long time for someone to find me. Are you here to help me leave this place? I don't know. I don't know who you are. What are you? I wish I could answer. I cannot remember. I know I am not. Complete. I remember I once knew who I was at some point, but I do not anymore. I just am. Hmm. What is this place? I do not know. I think it is some kind of prison deep in the weirdness. Why are, Why you here? are you here? I've been transported here by a morbid statue. A men here. Men here. Explain the weirdness surrounding us. Why do you want to leave? I've been here for what seems like an eternity. I feel I am getting restless. 
Hmm. You're a prisoner. I might be. I do not know. Was I sent here for a reason? Did I end up here by accident? Like you. You were looking for a way out yourself. I think we might be able to help one another with that. I shall do something now. But trust me, the discomfort will be worth the outcome. Uh, I don't like the sound of that. Um, temporal hold unlocked. Okay. Alright, so I guess that means we can, like, freeze things, in a manner of speaking. Like, stop time on certain things. Curious. Right, okay. So we don't actually have to do anything. It just kind of uses it automatically, I guess. Ooh, hello. Whoa. What the hell is that about? I guess we're about to find out. Dull broadsword. <sighs> Do I want to pull that out of his chest? <sighs> sure. Parrying is one of the most useful skills in combat. It allows you to avoid all damage and greatly reduce the enemy's stamina. When the enemy's stamina is depleted, they become staggered. To perform a successful parry, use block right before the enemy attack reaches you. Okay. Standard stuff. Alright. Wasn't quite correct there. That's better. Okay. Not bad. Not too shabby. Temporal hold allows you to slow time. Use it however you want to attack, escape, and so on. But remember that once used up, it will need to be recharged. You recharge it by killing enemies. Okay. Curious. So there, we use it like so. So it doesn't stop time like it said. It just slows time down. Good to know. I like the combat. The combat is a lot more I'm fun. I'm sorry I did not ask for your permission to do that, but I hope it was worth it, as promised. I think so. What did you do? I found a bit of emptiness within your heart. A place where I could dwell for a while. Uh, I don't trust this thing. I just want to throw that out here now. What do you want from me? What are you? It seems that I am a piece of a shattered soul, judging by my abilities. I used to belong to what your kind would call a four-dweller. Well, I don't know what that is, but okay. What do you want from me? I have already told you. I need your help to leave this place. Mm. And when we are out of here, I will need your help finding the rest of me to make me whole again. I feel I am but a shadow of what I once was. Yeah, that's not foreboding. How am I supposed to find the rest of you? Look for what is left of me whenever you step into the weirdness. I know your kind tends to avoid it, but you do not have to be afraid. I will be your shield against the darkness. Uh-huh. And what after we leave? I will try to help as much as I can. But I need you to hold up your end of the bargain. Uh, okay. Possible demon. Uh, I mean, he's kind of got us over a barrel here, to be honest with you. So, go on then. Thank you. We shall meet again then. Find the weirdness and look for me within the darkness. Yes. I'm not so sure about that. A world to win. Wow, that looks cool. 
Wow, that looks cool. That is a badass portal. I am I am all over this. Man, I kind of want to just jump through that in real life. That looks sick. All right. And that's that. Great escape. So I guess this guy is like still with us. That's going to lead us back here. Nothing we can do with that, but now we should be able to use this. Okay, that's a very cool bridge. Like a dark bridge, the opposite of the light bridge from Halo. Whoa, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is that? Can I kill it? Pepper its ass with arrows from up here. Dude. It's like had its face ripped off and its brain scooped out. Just like left it with enough to carry on its medial tasks. I like it. Yes sir, uh, I like it. That is cool. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, another one of those awesome portals. Ooh. And there's somebody down there. Why do I not have my weapon equipped? There we go. Oh, right, we've got the broadsword now. That's cool. Or the two-handed sword. We can play with that for a little while. Will I die if I jump down there? We're not going to risk it for a biscuit. Let's take this guy. Whoa, how... It's like, how cool does everything look? Alright, I see. Oh, he's got magic. That's bad. Hopefully we can drain him down a little bit. He's not the smartest person we've had to fight today. Doesn't look like there's any kind of like location damage that we can do. Get out of here, you sack of shit. Rusty broads? Ah, rusty short sword, sure. Look at that. Oh man, that looks so cool. Hmm, so where does that take us? Oh, we're now outside. Oh my god. And there's going to be our friend on the beach. Now, I will say, like, everything about this game feels better. The movement, how you kind of fit within the world, um, how combat works. It does feel better than Elder Scrolls. Now, it sounds like I'm ragging on Elder Scrolls a lot, but that's my point of comparison. Because I love Elder Scrolls games, but they're jank as fuck. And they really do need a humongous overhaul. Also, this looks fucking fantastic. Anyway, I think that's where I'm going to leave this video because we've been going for nearly an hour and usually i like to do half an hour for titan tries so let me know what you think down below guys i am all over this one in fact i think i'm about to go pre-order slash buy this game <laughs> so till then guys thanks for watching